So hi guys, welcome back to another video. And today's video, we are going to take a look at Mi Flavor UI, which is a ZTE's own OS for their phones, like the Exos 7 and any other phone. I didn't know like ZTE had their own OS. I just uh, thought they would slap on uh, some mods on uh, stock Android, just like Moto, but they do have, and it's Mi Flavor UI. So it's uh, basically Mi UI with a bit of a flavor, and that's the originality right over there. Let's just take a look. I've not set it up. I just installed this ROM. Insert SIM cards. No, I don't have one. Connect to the Wi Fi. Okay, connect. My Wi Fi is always open. Everything is blue, and you do get an internet speed counter over here. So it asked ask me for a fingerprint. Okay, okay, that's too much of caches. And looks pretty dark. Like a dark theme over here. We'll just change it up. As you can see, pretty stock marshmallow UI uh, with a bit of a purplish tint. Let's just hop onto the settings. And it's pretty customized. So you have the common, like the Samsung's easy mode, and you have all settings. We will just use the all. Dual SIM settings, everything is present. Sky Eye. The eye print. Whoa, that. That's a cool thing. Let's just register. I, I don't know, like ZT has this thing. Even the Axon 7, I don't know whether it has this feature or not. I don't know whether like a ZT has its own sensor or not, or just uses the front camera. I really, literally registered my eyes, uh, like eyesight with the front camera. That's very cool. Let's just continue. Okay, so I have to do it again. So it now is telling me to uh, like verify my eye print. Let's just continue. Okay, done. Uh, access control of your access private. So let's just uh, like check whether it can unlock my phone or not. Uh, I am looking straight into the camera. I don't like see my preview. That's pretty weird. If it was a Note 7 or something, I can see my preview. It's a cool gimmicky feature, but I can't see my face or the camera. And it's been a minute I'm looking into the camera and it doesn't scan it well that's pretty weird because it doesn't have like a special uh, sensor to like sense your eyes but it still doesn't measure that's a pretty weird thing to be honest let's just move on the more fingerprint is there voice print everything is like it has many security measures which is good thing but still gimmicky uh, we have gesture motions uh, screen capture everything is present my pop what's that okay it's just like an assistant or, or something display brightness level everything is very dynamic brightness font size cast screen scroll effect okay screen effect colorful okay that just um, messes up because I think ZT is uh, like have a AMOLED panel and that can be adjustable so you can't do it with this LCD it has like a LCD patch I have flashed it but it still doesn't work let's just move on gorgeous no maybe the developer may fix it later on power manager and auto adjust CPU everything is present good OS actually actually better than my UI my has some features which I like which is uh, cloning app which no OS provides it with location security accounts and stuff accessibility nothing new over here about the phone okay so it's not marshmallow it's still using 5.1.1 and i guess uh, to in order to make this roms with the source you need to have like a stock base you can't make it like a sign engine mode so the developers are not trying with the cm30 rather using the sign engine base with uh, the stock sign engine os which is uh, latest one is 5.1.1 you at eleven just told us that you will get a marshmallow but still no build time okay build time is also present i thought that was a build number me flavor UI 3.2 never heard of it uh, okay so it's a December pa what the look at this security patch 2015 December 1 that's almost a year today uh, that the developer has rolled out a security patch which is just weird 2015 and today is 30 of the November I guess yep tomorrow will be the first so the security patch is officially one year late that's just crazy okay nothing over here let's just go back I can't see the themes option over here Let's just go back, hold on over here. And those are some the still widgets. Okay, here is the option button. Pick color, me color, wallpaper. Where's the themes? I want themes, bro. I'll line up. Is this the stock thing you get with the Axon 7? I don't know because the developer has some screenshots on the post and these are not the thing. The launcher is same, uh, like same as the, uh, the Fly OS or something like that. The My still same. Let's just change the wallpaper. Blur is also adjustable, which is a good thing. I like blur. Okay, here is the icon classic okay these are the ones and it looks a bit IC but still pretty impressive let's uh, go here me pop is also present let's just enable it here it is looks like a back button I don't know why or okay you have to press it or drag it wow that's uh, pretty weird I don't know how it's easy it's making the things lot worse but if you want to like use the full screen that comes in handy pretty neat touch flashlight is also pre okay that's pretty bright me pop smart cpu power okay it saves the cpu good so it doesn't say a power saving smart cpu okay long standby is also there so it's another battery saving and can we change the brightness okay so there are two modes of battery saving kind of good thing and it doesn't say gps it says lbs i don't know location based system or something 
it might say okay so it is location based system but why doesn't it set gps i don't know why so that's pretty much it for the coverage of zt's me flavor you guys on you you for you i hope you guys liked it i know it was a quick video because there's not much you can do with this chinese roms or anything and uh, do take a note when i see chinese roms basically uh, <laughs> the roms with no app drawer in the launcher or the security app uh, which does more than security for example me assistant over here as you can see it's a basic system here yeah, like a system security app but it has a avast virus scanner acceleration everything present over here which does more than a performance also let's just take a look at the apps me file manager download manager user guide just basic stuff also the clock is pretty good compared to the uh, last uh, rom i checked i don't know what was that a live shared gallery do we get the uh, stock camera because i can only see the snapdragon camera but that was also acceptable and the snapdragon camera is pretty weird i don't know whether they have changed but looks like a s7's camera like the buttons over here and the modes over here but no but it's much smoother which is a good thing i like snapdragon camera a lot and it's a bad thing that i can't use it with my s7 because of the exynos processor it uh, heavily needs an arduino gpu in order to run this camera and that's pretty much it thanks for watching peace